we got butterfly sit-ups coming up next, also sometimes known as the competition sit-up. Um, it can be called a couple different things. You'll see this a lot in CrossFit, uh, but you're also going to see it here. We also do have the modification for the butterfly crunch. I'm going to show you both uh, so that way we can get this thing rolling. Also, you may want to get, if you start doing these a lot, you may want to get an ab mat. I have an ab mat. I'm not going to use it for this just because I want to show you your normal variation. But you can get a little strawberry or a little raspberry on the bum from the rock and back and forth. So ab mat definitely helps with that, having something sturdy underneath you too. Um, I made the mistake of doing this once without it. I did, uh, I did one of the, girl fit, uh, the CrossFit girls workouts and um, I was not too happy for the next couple of days when I went to go sit down. So here we go. Make sure your feet are together in a butterfly position. You're going to sit like so. Hands are going to go back and you're going to come up and touch the toes just like so. All right, again, feet are together. We're going back. We're coming up and we're touching those toes. Okay. The variation for this one, if that's hard. You can put weight on the feet. I do some, uh, some people have done that in the past to kind of keep stabilizing. That's good in the short term, but ultimately we want to build up that strength in the core to be able to pull the body forward. That's the name of the game, right? One thing you can do with a variation here is a crunch where you bring the hands forward and work towards getting towards those toes and ultimately coming up and being able to touch the toes. So that is your butterfly sit up. Have fun with it. Again, take care of your lower back and butt.